All right, so the folks at Top Don saw some of the videos that were out on the channel of all of these little chargers that I have. You can see them hanging on the wall for the motorcycles, and we got more cars out in the garage out here. And they thought it might be interesting if I did a review for their Tornado 4000 right here. So this is a nice looking little charger. And I've been playing with it some. I had to go out of town for a couple of weeks for uh, work. But I put this little guy on the car and now I'm going to switch it over to my wife's because her car has been sitting for about three weeks now and it hasn't been started. So I can almost guarantee you that when I start this car up, it's going to give me a battery discharge warning because it hasn't had anything hooked to it. So let's set the camera down and let's review real quick what all came in the box and what this little guy looks like. And then we'll get it hooked up on the car. I'll actually start the car and see if it does have an excessive battery drain because these BMWs are notorious for this. Really nice to have a charger on them like this to keep the battery maintained when you go away. So we'll get set up here and we'll show some of the features of this little fella. All right, so if we have a look at this guy, one thing I do like about it, it comes with the permanent connection so you can connect it to the battery. Then you can just unplug it and plug it in a lot easier versus using the clamps. But the clamps on this thing are actually better than I've ever seen on any of the other ones. Some of these Duralasts and Everstarts. I mean, these are some nice little clamps right here. So tight gripping little fellas, and they're made real well, so that's nice. And then this guy disconnects, so you can put that on or you can use the clamps. So all of that looks pretty good. Comes with an instruction manual that's it's not bad. I mean, you can read through it. It's in about, I don't know, five, six languages and you can read through because there's a lot of selections on this one that the regular little old Everstarts or Duralast, those don't have because this one you can actually pick your battery. So if you look right here, you can see it's got a setting for 12 volt normal and then an AGM, 12 volt small for like the motorcycles, six volt uh, lithium and then also a little button here to repair. So I'm kind of interested in that because it says it like does a desulfication or something where it'll uh, take the battery plates and clean them up a little bit on that repair mode. I don't know if it just boosts up the power, but I'm kind of curious about that one as well because this battery in this car is getting older and if we don't put it on one of these right here, every time you start the car, it's going to give you a battery discharge. Now, with BMWs, if you run into that, it messes with your electronics. So, not only do you have a notification that the battery is discharged and you get the little triangle, you also start having issues with sensors and things. So it's really important on BMWs to keep a good battery in them. These run AGMs, so it's an expensive battery. And if you maintain it, it's gonna last a whole lot longer. All right, so let's get this stuff off the trunk because my battery's in the back on this car. And we'll get this thing hooked up real quick. All right, so with plugged into a power source, you can see it says it's got power. And I had it on one of the motorcycle batteries testing it out. I also tried it on my M6 while I was gone, but this little guy, because it has so many settings, if the power goes off that supplies power to it, it actually resets and it won't restart like the other one. So that's something that I sent them a comment about saying, hey, you know, you need it to where it'll turn back on if the power goes off, because what if you're away like I was, because it stopped charging sometime while I was gone when the power went off. But what we want to first do is select the type of battery and so all we do is just scroll over and you'll see the little button you just double click them and then we want to go to 12 volt cold AGM and so now we're set up all I got to do is connect it up to the battery and if you connect it up backwards it'll tell you so it's not real hard to do you just go red to red and black to black so we're going to hook that guy right there on the battery and right there and so now what we'll see it do is once it's connected up you see it's not starting anything it's just blinking so I actually have to hit the button one time and then it makes it start charging so you can see it went solid and so now what it's going to do is scroll up through here and it's going to tell me the health of my battery so I don't know if it'll get to 100% because this battery has been sitting but we'll see here in just a minute. So it goes 25%, blinks on that for a while, and what it's doing is kind of like a ramp up and down charge. So as it's coming up to its 100%, it changes the charging on it by this little schematic that they put on the box. And so you can see 
right here, if you're looking at the box, it's got a dynamic charging instead of just like comes on and starts charging. It's actually doing it in different stages. And so right now at 25%, it's doing some kind of little pulse charging over here. So as you can see, it's kind of clicking along on 25%. So we'll set it down and we'll leave the camera here for a minute and watch it and see how long it takes because I was pretty sure this battery's low and so it needed to be charged. It still started the car and didn't give it an error this time. But a lot of times when I come out here, when I start the car, it says high battery discharge or high battery drain or whatever BMW says it does. So let's sit here and hold on to this thing for a minute. I'll set it down and we'll get the camera on it and then we'll see how long it takes to charge. All right, so with the charging just a few minutes here and it is, get my phone in there, it is 9.37 in the morning. And so it is charging up at 25%. And so we'll sit here and let this thing charge and see how long it takes to get to 100%. And then we'll know how well this guy charges. And is it a rapid charger or is it like a really slow charger that's going to help out this AGM battery? All right, so it's only been a few minutes. We are now at 948. So uh, just a little bit of time. So let's go over here and look at the charging and see how much it's charged. So just in a few minutes... What it did is it was coming up to about 12 something volts and then it dropped back down because it's hitting this little cycle thing that it does. So you can see it's at 11.7 again and it's still charging because you can see it blinking there, 11.7. So what it did is it went back down and it's going through some kind of cycle to where now it's showing 11.69. Still says it's charging up there and so it's letting the battery cool off or something i don't know what it's doing but it's all connected up and so then we'll watch for a second and we'll see if it starts its little charging back up because it got up to about 12.03 all right so just a couple minutes later and true to what they said you can see it started in on its next cycle so we are now at 951 so just a minute or two and it went down and dwelled and now it's starting to climb back up on its next little cycle. So apparently what it does do is it charges up and then it'll cut off for a second and then it starts charging again and you can see the number coming up. So that is interesting. You can see it's slowly bringing the number back up and it got up to like 12.03 a minute ago. So it's climbing pretty fast again. But that does show that this battery is a bit weak because it dropped it back down as soon as it stopped charging. All right, so it has been a little bit. We are now at 10.37 in the morning. And so we are blinking on 75% now. So it's charging along pretty good. Looks like it jumped through the 50% range. Not sure why, pretty quick. All right, so we are still charging at the 75% charge and it is 11.25 so it's staying a long time on this 75 percent so let's go back here and see just what our voltage is doing we can see we're still at 12.6 so it's hanging out here just charging it steady at that 75 percent charge rate and we are still about 12.6 so i would expect that that's going to go up a little bit further a little bit further as it gets towards 100 percent but We'll hang out a little bit longer and see. Like I say, it's been a couple of hours now and it's doing pretty good so far. So we will check it out and see what it's going to do once it gets to 100%. All right, so it is now 12.43 on June 8th and we are still charging at 75%. So it's taken a long time to do that last part, which is probably pretty good because this battery was low but it hasn't faulted out to say the battery's bad it's just charging away and i think we're at about 12.6 volts so we'll leave it on here a little bit longer and see if it'll make it to 100 percent and then we're going to test out this little guy and see if it charges up something and then we'll recharge it when it goes down because it's good that it's charging but i want to know if it's going to maintain so once we get up to 100% on this, we're going to switch out to the garage and we're going to test it on a little battery that's good. And I'll run the battery down with a light and then we will see if it cuts back on and tries to charge the battery back up as the battery voltage gets low. So we'll keep watching this for a while and then we'll come back and see when it gets to 100%. 
All right, so it is now, if we look at our phone, it is 5.20 in the evening. And so this little guy took quite a few hours to get this battery charged fully up. But as you can see on the display, it's now at 100% and we're in good shape. So this battery was pretty weak indeed. So let's look over here and what I'm going to do is disconnect it and then reconnect it. I'm going to bring this guy and put him in the trunk so you can see what it does to the voltage now that it's got the battery fully charged. It actually takes it up higher and checks to make sure that the battery is good and then it'll drop the voltage back down so it'll be at its stable voltage. So let's move the camera around over here and I'm going to move this little guy and then we can see what it's doing. All right, so we're connected up back in the trunk. So let me zoom down in here and you can see it's not charging right now because I unplugged it. So the battery's sitting on 12.6 so when I hit the button it's going to go through its cycle again and it's going to start measuring so you can see that the 25 percent is blinking and you can see the uh, voltage going up just a little bit so now it's gone to 50 percent blinking and it's starting to go through its cycle so now you can see the voltage is going up so now the battery is fully charged so it'll get up above 13 and so it's just checking it and it tops out blinking at 100% right now at 14 and if it can get it up to where it's happy then it'll go 100% and stop blinking so right now it's still checking at 14.5 14.6 and so then it went steady so you can see now the 100% light is lit up steady so now it's just going to let it drop back down and it'll start maintaining that battery. So it'll go back down to the 12 volt range or, or whatever it is. So it looks like it's charging pretty good. Now the big question is, when does it kick back on? All right, so we saw that this little guy right here, the little Tornado 4000, it'll charge up a big BMW battery pretty good. Took it a while, but that's good because it went through its little cycle like they said and it charged it on up and it's uh, good and stable. So now what I want to see is at what point does it start charging again because it really needs to maintain the battery as well as charge the battery. So I got a little bitty gel battery hooked up right here inside of one of the motorcycles and one of the things I don't like especially like this Duralast right here this thing lets the battery get down really really low you know like below 12 volts I think before it'll start charging it up. So if you come out and it's charged it up a few days ago, it might be back down to the point that it doesn't want to start, in this case, the motorcycle really well. Now this one does pretty good. It'll hold it, it maintains it at about 13, but it never stops doing that little bitty trickle charge. So this one works good for it. I like these little ever starts right here. So we're gonna see at what point this one kicks back on to start charging. Now, this little battery is good, you can see Without it charging or doing anything, it's reading 12.79. And so I can disconnect the little thing right here, see, so it's not connected. So that's reading the battery voltage. And what I want to do is load it down and I want to see at what point it comes on. Now, if it lets it get below, you know, 12 volts or so, that might not do me any good. So I'm hoping when I give it a little bit of load, it's going to cut on. So we're going to watch the meter and we're going to watch and see when it cuts on. And what I'm going to do is just hook up a headlight off a motorcycle to it and I'm gonna pull the voltage down for the uh, little battery and then we're gonna see when this guy cuts on and what the voltage is. So let's just load her down. You can see the voltage drops because the battery is pulling down but it's not cutting on yet. And so it's down to like 12.2. And they're right there. So about 1218. So that's pretty good. And what we'll do is leave the bulb over there. And you'll see because it got down low enough, it didn't get below 12 volts. So that's still pretty good. It's looking to try to maintain the charge higher than 12. So I really like that. So I think this one's going to work a lot better than this one for sure. These don't work very good at all. Or this one works pretty good. I don't mind it. But this one's got a lot more functions and if it'll maintain a battery at a higher level then I'm gonna like that. So we can see because the voltage dropped down that it went on up and it checked it again but the battery's full. I just barely loaded it down a little bit 
So it went up to about 15 or so, and then it registered through its smart controls that the battery's okay, and so it let the battery drop back down. So now, right now, it's going back through that little cycle that it does. So it's going to sit here for a while, and it's going to blink 100%, and then it's go, going to go back up through its little cycles, and then when it gets finished in just a little while, it'll go back to 100%, and it'll be ready for the battery to drop back down again. Then, we should be in good shape, we can let this little guy just cycle off and on and off and on and he'll maintain this battery for us. All right, so at the end of the day, this little guy seems to work pretty good. In fact, I like it a lot because it gives you a lot of options. You got the options for the different batteries. It's got like a repair one that I hadn't tried yet, but I'm going to try it and see what it does. If I have a weaker battery, I can put that on there and see if it improves the battery. But I do like that it picks up quick, so above 12 volts, it actually sensed that it needed to start charging the battery again and it picked it right back up and started charging. So overall, I think this guy's pretty good. It's not that much more expensive than these little guys right here. The only thing is you can buy these in the store locally. You can buy that one on the internet through Top Don, but it may be worthwhile if you're looking for one that's a smart charger and it's gonna do quite a bit more for your battery than these little cheap guys are gonna do. Maybe worthwhile just to pick that thing up off the internet versus just running to the store and grabbing one. And there we go, quick little review of this Tornado 4000 from Top Don. And like I say, you can get them off the internet. They got a website there. I'll put a link up to it in the description and you can see where to get one. But yeah, I'll give the little fella a thumbs up. Uh, I think it worked pretty good. A lot better than some of these that I've been using in the past. So we'll put that on one of the BMWs and uh, give it a workout on that big old battery and make sure this thing's gonna work pretty good, but so far so good. Looks like it's gonna be a good option for charging and maintaining one of these batteries. Well, alrighty. Well, thanks for watching.